the man smoking? What is the rule in Islam? Auzu billahi Puffing the devil. Puffing, smoke, inhaling, letting this devil go throughout your system, contaminating your heart, your brain, your blood, your organs with the devil. Wallahi, anyone that smokes, understand this. You are the brother of Satan. I once sat with a friend of mine, Muslim brother, and he was fifty times as my size, and muscles the better color like a cream. And then all of a sudden, I was sitting with him, and he was a sick man. It was absolutely just flabbergasting. This guy, he's got his daddy books, his CDs, and DVDs, and all these speakers. Big hat and the, the lariat, oh, well, the lariat, cowboy in the saddle and the horse, and he looks cool. Oh. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy died of cancer. I think. Well, like, he actually died due to smoking. Yeah, 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 shabab, yeah, shabab. When all the says in the Quran, Inna al-mubadirin kanu akhwan shiati. The sedan, the riffs, the extravagant, the extreme misdemeanor spending money with no cause are the brothers of the statement, not mine. The brothers of the devils. <coughs> so I said to the brother that pulls the girl out and blows my eyes away, Oh, the beloved, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you the brother of the devil? I said to him, Oh, my, straightforward. I, I said to him, are you the brother of the devil? I go, well, Allah says those who spend their money in this mannerism are the brothers of the devil. He immediately crushed it, crushed the whole packet. He go, well, it. If you see Munka, you change it. If you cannot off your hand, with your tongue. That's Munka. When I was in Saudi Arabia, one of the one of men that taught us the Quran, he entered one of the circles of knowledge, and he was a teacher for that circle. And I was with him. We went in there, and we sat down. And it was about fifty brothers. He began his introduction. Suddenly, a man pulls out a cigarette. He's in front of me. So this shaykh. It's Ali, may Allah have mercy on him. So then he just stood up. He's talking, introducing his talk. Then he just suddenly stands up and goes outside. No one knows what is going on. So we follow him. He goes, I will not remain in a circle of knowledge or any circle where Allah is disobeyed. That was his response. He didn't say, what are you doing, brother? Hold him in there in front of everyone. Himself and he said, Until this person removes the filth in his hand, I will not come back. It is a major sin because you are, first of all, you are spending that which you do not own. Allah gave you that money and you are throwing it in the devil's palm. Secondly, you are committing haram because you are killing yourself slowly but surely.